Hello! And welcome back to Matt Can't Sleep. I'm just going to turn that music down. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, here jamming onto it. Um, it's really good, but uh, I think it's a bit loud, so... literally down as far as it goes so uh, I hope everyone can still hear me if you're having trouble hearing me then uh, please do let me know um, but yeah so I'm trying a new game today um, suggested by uh, uh, Sweet Chestnut um, in uh, my discord server uh, Morab Games I'm trying Gangan Romper uh, Trigger Happy Havoc uh, I haven't played this one before um, I have Heard a few things. I, I know. I know it's a, a sort of visual novel rather than like a, a tr sort of traditional uh, com uh, PC game. Um, I've played games like uh, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club and stuff like that. Um, so I, I get the feeling um, that it's probably in the vein of like. Um, uh, Japanese sort of um, battle royale style uh, game, so it's probably going to be there's probably going to be some horror uh, as well. Um, even hell, the uh, uh, stream chat um, uh, tags for Twitch are telling me it's some sort of uh, uh, rhythm adventure game, visual novel, horror novel, uh, all sorts of things. So uh, with a name like Trigger Happy Havoc, I presume we're going to see many of the characters. As many of the characters die as in Game of Thrones, uh, while Game of Thrones was still good. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I still enjoy it. Um, it's disabling my uh, mouse. Um, I'm using the arrow keys to bleep, 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 um, go up and down uh, at the moment. Um, but uh, we're gonna... Uh, uh, so I'll be watching the stream chat. I'll respond verbally, but I probably won't be able to uh, type responses at the moment, but um, I am gonna check that the stream chat is synced. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So. I know that I know that this is a visual novel. I know that it's a sort of like a detective game of some variety, um, but I've never played it before, and uh, I'm—I mean, I'm digging the music. Like I can tell it's a rhythm game because um, uh, even though I've turned that down, I hope people can still hear it because uh, it is uh, groovy as groovy as all heck. All right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, without any further ado, I think we're gonna uh, get back in get into it and um, I've adjusted the options as much as I can um, Do let me know if the music's too loud um, Anyone watching uh, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start a new game seeing all these characters no idea who they are I think tempting as it is to put it in Japanese um, My Duolingo sponsored anime uh, induced Japanese is awful already, so I think I'm gonna leave it in English. Ah, hello Blue Shimmer 127! <laughs> Glad you can join me. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it looks really awesome. I'm really liking the music. Um, hmm, logic difficulty. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it on default, I think, for the moment. Um, uh, action difficulty. Oh, there's action, huh? Okay, well, let's hope the game is kind to me, just like I hope life is kind to me, and we'll leave it on kind. I don't think it needs to be gentle. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't... I don't know, does it... Uh, am I gonna die on kind? <laughs> like, repeatedly? Can't help but dance to this music, it's great. Boom! Alright, got a crazy bear. Different music. Oh no! Someone, someone tied up. I'm, I'm liking the OST, I'm really- oh, presses the button. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, wow. I thought the bear died then. Oh, no. You're having loads of latency. Oh, don't. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's dead. I see. <laughs> well, I think that bear... So that 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 bear might be uh might be a might be the bad guy. Get the feeling he's the bad guy. Just just calling it now. Um. Well, I I, I hope uh, I hope it's still coherent. I'll uh, I'll try and give you a moment or two to um uh like uh understand what I'm saying. Monaco, my best bear. But but he just murdered someone. <laughs> is is the best bear the murderer? Oh okay. Um, the massive high school towers over all of the buildings in this bustling urban area. Uh, oh, it's, it, this is visual, visual novel, v visual not very visual novel. We're going to be reading loads of stuff. Um, it's like the school stands at the center of its entire world. That's not foreshadowing at all, I'm sure. Blurry picture of uh, a Japanese high school. Hope's Peak Academy. Ah, here, here we see. The uh, the generic um, Japanese high school that is definitely not Tokyo University. Um, like it's got the big central building. It's got like the the gym on the one side, the track out the back, the the, the different. Uh, <laughs> I suppose they'd say the same about our, our, our schools, but it's just like uh, you've seen every anime, you probably know know what this building's like. Any school anime. Uh, it brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. Uh, they say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set to life. So it is Tokyo, then. Um, with hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Uh, only have uh, audio. Oh, okay. Um, okay, okay. As long as, as long as you can hear me, you're still enjoying it. That's the main thing. Um, it was built to raise hope in the nation, nation's future. Uh, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Yeah, no, I'm like uh, visual novels. Uh, like most visual novels I've read are generally pretty well written, like uh, just just as well written as uh, like equivalent genre in um, uh, any other cultures. Sort of like um, they're novels, you know, not novels very wildly. Um, I like visual novels. The Fate series, uh, despite its uh, original pornographic origins, is one of my favorites. I have to say. Oh, uh, there are two things you need to attend. I should stream that. Oh my god. I should definitely stream the Fate series. Just because they're so, so dorky. <laughs> there are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Well, they picked the right person. That's all I can say. Um, I, I am the best. The very best that ever was. Like, no one ever was. And to, to beat high school is my real test. To train myself is my cause. I'm going to stop Pokemon again. Uh, no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you were scouted by the school itself. Ooh, I'm glad you know the game well. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to need help. <laughs> Almost certainly. Oh, man, I should stream Stein's Gate. I bet that's on sale. That's, that's heartbreaking, though. Uh, I'm standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... Ah, so it's the Ur. Uh, it's the Ur uh, example. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, best school. <laughs> oh, there's me. Do, have I got blood on my hood? Oh, is that the school hood? Okay. Red shoes. I look like... Oh, no, I'm Gary Oak. I look like Gary Oak from behind. <laughs> Before we go any farther... I guess I should introduce myself. Oh, it's voice actor. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Okay. I'm glad it... Honestly, like, I'm really glad the localization pronounces the uh, Japanese names. That's really good. That's really helpful. Ah, Generic Anime Protagonist 101. H Hello, G Generic Anime Protagonist 101. How are you doing today? Although, admittedly, his, his eyes are pretty dead, so... As you can see, I'm, I'm no nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. Uh, yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> why, why, why is this? Uh, why has this game got to hit me so hard in the feels? Why, why, why is it here for that? And I don't, I don't take kindly to this. Uh, Higarashi. Um, I feel like I know what Higarashi is. I feel like 
if you give me the English name for it, I'll probably know exactly what you're talking about, but I do not know the Japanese name. He's a good boy. Is he? But he's average on the outside, average on the inside. Like, how can you be a good boy if that's the case? I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personalities. Seriously, this game is kicking me when it comes- like, kicking me while I'm down. Like, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff. Yeah, I have hobbies. I, I like to run Roll20 games on the internet. But it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Well, at least- at least there's that. Here's to that, Makoto. Here's to that. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or... Uh, my favorite movie or TV show, well, I know what that is. Um, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. That's alright, mate. You know, that's okay. You don't have to have an opinion about everything. Uh, even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. You totally are, though. <laughs> that's just who I am. Well, he knows who he is. Hey, that's good. Um, sure, there's no foreshadowing whatsoever talking about his personality. No English name for you, but but how will I know? <laughs> uh, what, what, what's, it, what's it about? Aside from being creepy? Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. I agree. But you know, if I have any kind of strong po point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. You and me both, bro. You and me both. Sometimes you just gotta do stuff. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. Well, yeah, they did say you have to be the best to go here. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if a, someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. Does it? I mean, I guess? Yeah, he, he does seem like he's, 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 uh, he's good at being average. Uh, but it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Prep, very big book. Oh, what the? Uh, uh, Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Uh, a load of anonymous... Ow, I, I guess they're using some sort of scrambler or something? A load of anonymous messages from his friends. Maybe this is set in China. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. All I saw was talk about the ultimate students. Oh no. Who we were way beyond your average high schooler, but he's explicitly average. Oh no. Oh, idol group. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Uh, I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Okay, cool. Uh, a gaggle of girls and a series of death. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that doesn't, that doesn't sound good at all, Blue Shemmer. <laughs> There's also the ultimate baseball star, who, who's apparently a cl classic anime, uh, sort of a classic Japan sort of, uh, he's a, he's a fighter for sort of furious person. He's got like a big explosion of red behind him. Looks like he reminds me of, um, uh, Explosion King from uh, uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, he was the cleanup hitter for the National High School Champ. Pro teams have already got their eyes on him. You'll understand why they're non. Okay, sure. Okay, that's good to know. That's that's interesting. That that's a plot point. Smash! Oh, okay. Here's best waifu according to uh, Blue Shimmer, and then there's the ultimate fashionista. how all the latest dresses and fashions. Cool. Uh, she keeps on evolving. Hmm. <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. I, you know, like, it, it's, it's just, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm too cynical with these sorts of games, but I bet she turns out to be either, um, uh, like, uh, a, a sort of ditzy damble, damsel, or she turns out to be super evil and super intelligent. It's gonna be one of the two. Like, it almost... Uh, waifu. <laughs> I see. 
and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader. <laughs> what? Why is a biker gang leader coming to this school? What the hell? <laughs> it looks like um, freaking Seto Kaiba. No, um, Jack from 5Ds. Uh, the scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. G gangs everywhere love this guy. <laughs> Gangs everywhere will hate this trip. I'm not being- I know, no, I'm not being mean. I'm just being accurate, you know? <laughs> I can't- No, don't kill me. I'm sure the game will kill me. Don't worry. You can feed me bad advice and then I'll die. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, and the ultimate gambler. What's this conversation say? Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friend kind of knows them. I guess everywhere's- everything there's state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So jealous it's only for winners. How can anyone get in? Anyone can't. I mean, doesn't really talk like how... Eh, I guess that's alright for an IM message. I think, I think the translation is probably, it's probably losing something in the translation. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programming, programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant. <laughs> oh, Japan. Japan really loves, uh, what should we call it, uh, it's uh, sort of psychic powers uh, sort of character. Uh, reading me, I mean, we do as well, look at Eczema. You love Toka. Oh, is that her name? I don't think Writer is a good girl. Okay, good to know. Uh, re re reading me made- I, I will trust her implicitly. Uh, reading me made me real- reading that re made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Ah, Nagi's a bottom. Good to know, good to know. I'll, I'll roleplay. Celeste's good girl too. Should I just trust them all implicitly? Are they all good people? But still, there was no something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. Okay, interesting. Why are we looking for that? Um, with all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any work, kind of worthwhile talent. I bet, I bet you have a worthwhile talent. I bet it's like a superpower. Uh, but then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without talent or anything? <gasps> I might have friends! I'd love to have friends. I've got friends. Or, or, or some friends, but uh, maybe more friends. Never know. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. You do, bro. You got me. I'm gonna be your personality. Uh, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. I, I have the ultimate lack of self-esteem. Uh, you just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter to, they sent me to see why. Hope's Peak Orientation Guide 2014. Okay, so we know what year it is. Um, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our student. Stu oh, wow, that... Christ, that, that, that's just, uh, that's killer. It's killer to self-esteem. You, you're completely ordinary. <laughs> the titles go as super duper thing. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that, that's way better than Ultimate. Uh, as a result, you have been selected and we, we invite you to join us as the super duper lucky student. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is way more fun. I like that. Um, they spelled out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Super duper luck. Uh, honestly, I probably would have been better off dead. No, just declining their offer. <laughs> it's got dark already. Um, but after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Fair enough. He's gonna, he's gonna chance it through with luck rather than grades. You know. Um, really, uh... P push through and get get those uh, get those uh, Russell University creds, and then come out and go into politics. Oh God! But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. I still, I can't just stand here in front of this gate forever. This is the gung ho ability coming into play. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. Okay. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. 
you probably should. Yeah, let's do this. Yatta! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. He is a super duper lucky boy. It's true. I'm sure that won't come up again. Um, as I took my first step towards the main hall, which we can hear. Ah, main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. I guess. Really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Chapter 1 start. Oh, nice. Good to know. Uh, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense nobody would be here yet. Wow, we're, we're 50 minutes early. D do you think he's a bit of an overachiever, maybe? <laughs> I was so wound up, I got here way too early. Oh, he's wound up. Uh, Wooten. <laughs> See, you say that, but I can't help but think of Wooloo from the new Pokemon. Damn lag. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's still fun. Uh, I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing here waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problems without me having a look around. Sure. Yeah, makes sense. Help me kill some time. Trying to play it. Play it cool. I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. Well, my first... Also, my first step towards starting a new life in a new school. At least that was what I was hoping for. My my high school academia begins now with my superpower. Oh man, this could be my school. I didn't realize this was my hero academia. Like, uh, if people had told me that, then I would have been like, horror? What horror? Oh, this horror. Oh no. What the? What the hyphen? Double hyphen? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. So, ice cream. Spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again. Cosmopolitan ice cream. Neapolitan ice cream. And the next moment, everything went black. That's not ice cream. That was how it all began. How life as I knew it came to an end. Oh, no. We're already dead! Oh, come on! <laughs> At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had super duper good luck. Yeah, you could have told me I was going to die in the intro. I mean, I feel like I could have used some... I, I guess that's a spoiler. Yeah, don't, don't, don't spoil it. But, uh, oh my god, I'm dead already. It was so I could experience super duper despair. Super duper despair, not just normal despair. Oh no. Welcome to Despair High School. Welcome to Despair. Prologue. I will blame the bear. Do I want to save data? Oh god, yes I do. Empty slot one. I like how it thinks I need seven slots, by the way. Like, that's just, um, just a little worrying, I'm not gonna lie. Save here, yes. Dot, dot, dot. Speaking. Oh, it's got a tag to say who's speaking, that's interesting. Dot, dot, dot. Dot 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 NNG Oh our boy's not looking so good. Don't look dead though. Mm -hmm. What? What 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 j j j jinkies Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of the hard wooden of of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? That is a good question. I mean, he did arrive at 7.10 a.m. That is sleeping time. That's not awake time. Thank you for no spoilers. Thank you. Uh, this isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? You can swear, Negi. It's like, uh, it's not going to get you banned. It's high school. Swear a little. It'll make you cool. <laughs> He's a good boy. He doesn't swear. Okay. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Oh, thanks. Uh, you can use the mouse to adjust your aim. Okay. You can aim at an object you can interact with. You can press the left mouse button. Sure. Presto, you'll investigate that object, but why would I need to investigate anything, game? Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Okay, so we're using um, WASD to look around, or you can press and hold the right button. Oh, okay, so we can click and drag, sure. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Why don't I try looking around the classroom? Uh, 
Uh, what the heck is with these windows? Hmm. Monokuma swears, does he? Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so click to investigate these giant bolts and nuts. Oh my. I'm some giant bolts and nuts already. What the heck? Hook the desks. All right. Uh, in any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. Uh-oh. Oh no. If I were to knock on it... Conk, conk, <laughs> conk. Oh, the, you can tell the localization struggles with the onomatopoeic sound effect. Conk. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Thick. Uh, click the windows. Oh wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? That's a good question. Okay, let's poke the desks. As in, uh, poke, poke desk. Uh, po poking desk just... No, these desks aren't being poked, but there's a piece of paper here, so let's let's poke the piece of paper. Oh wow, what the heck was that? Uh, apparently, we, when, we, when when we're investigating things, like we're we're manifesting our nascent psychic power. Uh, that's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Ew! They said he was a good boy. Uh, I'll have to clean that up later. Late? Do it now! Come on! Hey, what's that on the desk? Uh, hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Oh my god. Not spooky at all. An orientation guide. Mm. Kidnapper's ransom note, more like. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. Uh, next semester about to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School will be the entire world. What the hell? Oh, now he's swearing. Is this someone's idea of a joke? I mean, it does seem like a hazing ritual. Are we being hazed? Is, is, I mean, there is a camera over there, so... Let's look at the camera. Is that a surveillance camera? Am I on You've Been Framed? I'm on You've Been Framed, aren't I? Like the Japanese equivalent. Oh god. The Japanese equivalent of You've Been Framed is Takeshi's Castle. Uh, oh no. Poke everything. Oh yeah. No, no. Th thank you for the heads up, but uh, uh, I. I, I uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're uh, no strangers to clicking everything here on Matt6751's uh, Twitch channel. <laughs> we're going to click all the things. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Yeah, like me. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Oh, we can't read the... Oh, can we read the kanji? Is it good to us? Mm, no? Okay, okay. Uh, can I move the arrow keys? No. Okay, I have to use WASD. Can't click the symbol. Click the clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. Oh wow, we slept for like 50 minutes. That's not really that long, honestly. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Yeah, I remember. Has it really been almost an hour? I mean, that's how time works, so yes. Speaking rhetorically, I guess. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? We took a long time to come to that conclusion. If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside of Hope's Peak. Objection! This is clearly not a classroom. <laughs> no, um, including the boobies. I mean, uh, am I a stranger to poking the boobies on the channel? Yes. I, I have not poked many boobies on this channel. Other statements uh, can neither confirm nor deny. But I said already, ne uh, Neagi's uh, clearly clearly a bottom. Like, uh, you know, he's... he's uh, I don't think he's very interested in the boobies. That raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. I mean, do you suggest I poke them? <laughs> um, there might be other students there now. Uh, you can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Uh, R key? Okay, sure. Uh, let's let's see if there's anything else to poke first. Lol. <laughs> oh, there are a few things. Okay. Hello. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government. Oh, okay. So this is a public school. Uh, I guess it's not weird that that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Hmm. I mean, some sort of surveillance state, I guess. There's something up there we can.
Leave the area. Okay, so we can do it manually. Oh, there is a help. I, I wonder what the help gives us. Like, I, I doubt it gives us anything useful. Poke everything. I I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> but I, I think I I mean I feel like I've poked everything. That's the door. Can't poke the board. I uh, can't poke the notice board. Poke the TV. Poke the note. Is there anything on the floor to poke? No. No. Yeah. I poked. Uh, can I can I click on the window separately? Is that going to give me something separate? No. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, it said bang bang that time. Uh, is it different if I click different windows? No. Okay. Um, I think I've got everything in here. So I like how it doesn't say it says like no camera behind me. I wonder if that means I'm a robot or something. Oh, okay, let's uh, let's leave this place clearly. Um. Ah. Oh. Leave the area. Oh, I like the uh, I like the decor, the purple and purple and black chessboard. That's pretty cool. No, it's not weird. It's cool. Uh, said in the intro, Hope's Peak isn't public. Um. Oh, I, I might mean um, public in the British sense as opposed to public in the American sense. Uh, it's it's a state school, right? Um, or federal, I guess. I don't know what the American sense is. <laughs> it's run by the government. <laughs> jeez, this, jeez, this whole way is kind of weird too. It, no, it's kind of nice. I like it. It's getting stranger by the second, is it? I see. I have no idea what's going on. There. Well, for now, I'll just head to main, the main hall. Okay. Use the. Uh, okay, so we use was to move in hallways. Shift key to run. Oh, okay. So maybe that's gonna be. Maybe that's going to be meaningful. Should we run everywhere? Is that is that better? Oh, here's a map. No. Okay. Uh, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Uh, neither. Um, oh, lag. <laughs> okay. Okay, tab. Oh, it's not. Alright, oh, alright. Let's see. Press tab again to close the map. How convenient. How convenient indeed. Does it say where we are on the map? Oh yeah, with the arrow, okay. So, in, there's a bear. I mean, I don't know what any of these mean, but we're heading to the school hall, I guess. Okay, so this is facing north. Well, let's poke everything and investigate everything before we leave. Standard despair hotel. Despair Hotel, leading into dark, ominous blackness. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Okay. Hope Speak is privately owned school, but guess Mons, because it's so good. And yeah, run everywhere. Run everywhere. Okay. Uh, running. Oh wow, we're fast. Wee. Wee. <laughs> uh. Room 1B, the door's locked tight. Okay. Is there something to look at? Room 1A, door went bunch. Da, 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 da. Whee! Are those the doors we're meant to go to? Oh, this is Monokuma's room. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Is he not like red or something? Hey, we hate red. Oh, wow. This is a weird lighting thing. We got white over there, purple, green. Interesting that zones are lit differently. The AV room. Oh, of course it's the AV room. This is a school, right? I understand now. It's locked. Sure. I guess everywhere's going to be locked. Keep out. Danger. I want to go in. I want to go in. School store, I guess it's not open. Oh. But I wanna go in. I like dangerous things. 
Is this the exit? No. This is where we're meant to be going. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Probably because we clicked on all Whoa, those doors. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Uh, no. No, I've been here all the time. I was here 50 minutes ago. Huh? Then you guys are all... Wow. Lame. Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Sure. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. The scroll makes it impossible to tell who's talking at the moment. Standing me before before me were the super duper students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around to everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Uh, a Jojo aura, a stand aura. Like <laughs> <laughs> I can't do stamp poses. <laughs> um, how's it going? Uh, my name's uh, Makoto Neegi. Uh, sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. Sarah Strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um... What are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. The English voices make you cringe. Oh, there's gonna be more of that! <laughs> um, you, you, that's not the first time that you've... Uh... Or do you mean the sound effects? Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Listen to me! Uh, okay. Whoa, his eyebrows just went straight up. Uh, Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware that the meeting was to start 8 a.m. sharp. Is it not? I thought it was 8 a.m. now. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. Oh, no. Um, I get the feeling that this guy is a bit of a twat. What? Celeste is good girl. <laughs> um, which one's Celeste? Oh. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for frigging introductions! <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to find out at least who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That is a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, and then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I am gonna lose those voices so quick. <laughs> Man, this is gonna give me good, 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 uh, good voice acting practice. <laughs> I hope they sound vaguely distinguishable. See what you mean about needing a female voice for the for the uh, was it box and VA parts? Oh, okay, okay. I I, I'll, I might I might do that because I know I do know what you mean. Um, I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. Uh, I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. Uh, I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread. I get the feeling our guy is like a Facebook stalker. He was like, I'm going to a new school. I must know everything. I must know everything about everybody and sort of browse their Facebook feeds. <laughs> I thought he was a good boy. Uh, I still don't really know what kind of people they are. Time to find that out. Sure. I'll start by talking to those five over there because that's how many our screen can fit. I mean, what? Aim at a student. <laughs> and press the left mouse button to talk to them. When's the trigger happy part gonna happen? That's the real question. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Okay, so we gotta keep track of everything. Please help. I'll forget stuff. Okay, I'm gonna click on the stuff that isn't people first. Uh, those look like guns. Are those guns? I really hope they're not guns. I bet they're guns, though. A surveillance camera has what looks like a gun at- oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wanna be the person who is being trigger happy, not the alternative. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Right? <laughs> Big door. 
Holy cow, what's with that huge metal? Holy cow! Holy smokes, Batman! What's with that huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then. Though, so, okay. I mean, maybe we just missed it? It's only been 50 minutes. They can't have possibly put that door up. That's, inc that's, that's crazy. Like, are we crazy? Is that our thing? Uh, right camera. Okay, same text. Looking round. What's that? They are guns. No! <laughs> I don't want them to be guns! Unless we can take them, in which case I'm okay with that. A mailbox. There's nothing inside. Well, there wouldn't be. This like, we're a new class. Um... Okay, nothing on the floor. Nothing on the ceiling. Oh, another TV. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government. Oh, okay, so same same text. Same text. And a trophy cabinet, it looks like. Oh god, buffering. Oh no. Uh, stay with me. Uh, activate defibrillator to Twitch. I can't click on the trophies. I can't click on the trophies. I guess I can't click on them. Refreshing stream. Yep, no worries, no worries. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, drink some coffee. Hope you, hope you can hear me now, um, and we'll go back to it. Okay, so we clicked on everything else. There's nothing else to click on. So let's start from the left. What, let's see what this guy's problem is with us, aside from being late. Maybe he just has a problem with people in general. Uh, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, okay. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Oh, I close. believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Oh no, he's a, it, it's, 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 it's not good. He's a nerd. Ultimate, a super duper moral compass. Eyebrow boy. <laughs> so that's Kiyotaka. According to him, what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school. Are we gonna do Borderlands intros for everybody? That's cool. Um, top honors every year. He's basically a floor on flawless honor student. Nerd! <laughs> he's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Ah, right. This is the, the Japanese thing of um, having like a... Having the students police the other students. I guess it's like prefects in our culture. Yeah, right. Prefect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, super duper prefect. Oh, God. I I'm I'm, can tell I'm going to like him. Uh, they say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Super Duper Moral Compass. Okay. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Neegi. Yes, I did. That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Wow, he's lame. You hear me? No, I don't, no. Do say it again. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! Uh, this ki guy is kind of annoying. Yeah, you're telling me. Toko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T Toko. Aww. Toko Fukawa. I mean, look at those eyebrows. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so she's nervous. So again, she's either going to be nervous, quiet girl, or how these games go, she's going to be like a murderer or something, probably. I don't know. Like she's got the 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 down gray lines normally normally mean that she feels like sort of sick um, or disgusted. So may maybe like people disgust her or something. 
Uh, super duper writing prodigy, Toko Fukawa. Uh, yeah, she wrote a ro novel when she was 10. Oh, wow, she's a prodigy. Um, that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Uh, hello, Magna Mama. Glad, to, glad you could join us. Toko is a good girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you, please, see, are you talking about the game, Magna Mama, or do you like this one because she's disgusted by people in general? <laughs> uh, the book was such a hit uh, with women that fishermen quickly shot to the... Oh, okay, so that's the nickname. This girl, yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Oh, wow. So it's a romantic novel. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Cool. Which is why she's come to be known as the Super Duper Writing Prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? I mean... I, I promise to trust her. <laughs> I mean, I could, if she, she could be a murderer and I can trust her. Like, you know, she can be disgusted with me. And uh, I guess Nagy might be into that. You never know. Uh, I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, with her masterpiece being a romance. Apparently we assume rude things about people as well. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What's your problem? Oh, ah, right, okay, so yan Yandere. Yandere, she's gonna be, she's gonna be a Yandere. Uh, what? But what? <laughs> it's not, it's not polite to stare, you know. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! Filthy creature? No, I, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Hmm. So I found someone else who has uh, no self-esteem, like my character. We can have no self-esteem together and bring us both down. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise, you know I can't stand you looking at me! Can I voice act? <laughs> Hello, Rowdy Meteor 3507 Um, can you voice act? I don't know, can you voice act? If you can, that's awesome. Which one am I? I am Neegi, a uh, super duper lucky boy. Um, the, uh, when it's full yellow, I think it'll be me. Um... Anyway... <laughs> What? whatever I, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. Our character is savage. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah, so that, that guy who just talked, that's me. Um, Sayaka Maizano. Um, I hope, you, hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizano. I look forward to getting to know you. Okay, so she seems to be setting up to be like the um, uh, what is it, Yamato, uh, the the sort of perfect Japanese woman, like sort of uh, dowdy and sort of um, uh, reserved, cultured. I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate point. Oh, so she's the idol. Oh, that explains. That explains why she's acting like that. It's a good boy. <laughs> The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. Oh no. And that pleasant scent, I can't quite place. Uh, Sayaka Maizono. Uh, when I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group all across the country. Uh, in fact, she's their lead singer. Obsequious was the word you were looking for. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, it's a, it's a, it's a stereotype, uh, for, for sure. Um, as the super duper pop sensation, super duper pop idol, you're okay with a 12 year old to voice act asking that is really awkward. Oh no, um, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do all of my streams solo, um, but uh, I appreciate the thought, thank you. Um, Uh, do you enjoy voice acting? In mag magazines everywhere. Actually, that's not only the reason I was so surprised that she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. Okay, we've met her before. We have a past. A history. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm, 
I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Oh. So, yeah, okay. So... Oh, okay, interesting. I... Ooh, whoa! <laughs> oh no, Blue Shimmer. Oh no, it's not that It's not that kind of visual novel, is it? I'll, I'll get banned from Twitch. <laughs> she's psychic. Maybe she's the clairvoyant, but she can't be. You like voice acting, but you don't do it that much. Oh, okay, well, I mean, um... Uh, it's, I, I like voice acting as well. Um, I don't really... Um, voice act as such, but uh, it's cool. Um, I really enjoy it as well, so uh, yeah, good. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just really have good, I have really good intuition. Okay. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Hey, by any chance? No. Wow, we're really impatient all of a sudden. Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure, to, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it seems like it. It does seem like a really good game to voice act, I have to say. It's gonna give me a lot of good practice. Hey, Makoto, did- Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? It's not a good game to uh, voice act. Oh, you mean it's not- it's not a good- it's not uh, that kind of game. Good! <laughs> I don't want to be banned. <laughs> Why is he always shouting? He's just that kind of person. He's that guy. That's exactly what he is. He's that guy. He's a massive that guy. Just j just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not for bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. I'm gonna try and do the poses, I think. Y you're right. Sorry. S sorry, Makoto. Whoa, she's gone. <laughs> uh, it sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. That one guy that shout a lot. He's like, uh, he, uh, his uh, art, no, his behavior doesn't, but his art reminds me like um, of, uh, who is it? Uh, uh, Apollo, Apollo Justice. He reminds me of Apollo Justice, uh, like loads uh, from from the uh, from the Phoenix Wright series and his, his own sub-series. Um, uh, but it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. I'm half expecting him to shout, I'm fine! Okay, so talk to her, talk to her. Um, uh, okay, red-haired boy, Explosion King. Leon Kuwata. Of course he's Leon. Of course he's a lion. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? His voice does not sound like his face. <laughs> He's like all chill, like, what's up? And his, his face is like, <laughs> Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, ultimate baseball star, uh, Lee Kuwata. I recognize that name. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's got the shamed hair of the baseball champ there, but now he's got like spiky hair. Uh, he played for the national high school camp champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? You're just gonna chill. Okay. Yeah, feel free to chill. Um, his goatee is in a band. Says I'm not gonna voice. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, it, it would be, I'd say the same for everybody. Uh, huh, what's wrong? N nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you being the super duper baseball star and all. Give me a break. Uh, oh, he's got a lot of inspiration from Apollo. Ah! Uh, what? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Yes, yes, I was, yeah. Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional base. We're really rude! <laughs> I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, and we're going to admit to stalking him online, apparently. Uh, what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. Oh, okay, that's interesting. He's. I, I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Sure, I mean, my man. Old. Please, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. 
Actually, can can I be totally honest with you? Well, I I, I mean I I'd prefer you to be totally. Uh, it's because I, I secretly Magda Mama. I am still an awkward teen. <laughs> I no. I, I I don't like baseball like at all. I, I've never gone to a single practice. He is absolutely savage, aren't we all? It, absolutely. That's right, everyone is just has as many crippling insecurities as me. <laughs> I've never gone to a single practice. Hashtag humble brag. He's never practiced and he was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Well they're all super duper. Yeah! Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. He's gonna die. Calling it now. Dream for the future? <laughs> ah, my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star or equality, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. Oh, he wants to build- Man, he- If he doesn't die, he's gonna get like a band in his mid-40s when he has like a- Be friends with Leon. Are you gonna tell me to be friends with everybody? <laughs> is there anyone I shouldn't be friends with? How cool is that? Oh, it's pretty cool, man. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Okay, right. I I'm, I'm not gonna be friends with him. And I'm not gonna be friends with Albert Eyebrow Boy. I I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't stand either of them. They're crazy. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from an a baseball all star. Okay, and last but not least, the, the supposed real nerd, uh, Hifumi Yamada. <sighs> Just looking at his face, I, I, he, he's gonna be the fucking, um, the hentai bastard, isn't he? He's gonna be the pervert character. There's always one in these games. They're always lame. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? Oh, no. The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. No, oh, no. <laughs> Be friends with everybody, okay. <laughs> I don't want to call him the Alpha and the Omega. But he has a he has an arrow on his tie. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a Fajosi. Uh oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> By the way, how much do you know about the world of uh, 2D art? The world of 2D? I've never been exposed to the internet before. <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supreme, supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. He's the, the, oh. Okay, so we found the slash fiction writer. Mm-hmm. Um, Ifumi is forgettable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a stool school festival. The event has passed into legend. I feel like it's partially because um, they can't big up their own profession so much, but 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 like in these sorts of games. But but also like there's such a stigma around writing this sort of thing in Japan that these characters always come off as massive dweebs and sort of caricatures of like. There have been good varieties of this sort of character archetype, but I guess this isn't one of them. Misfit. Yeah, but like... The, the kind of... There's, there's, there's socially awkward misfits, and that, that's okay, but these, ten, these kind of characters tend to be the kind of... Um, you'll, you'll see. They, they tend to be kind of lame. Hmm. He's alright so far, I guess. Oh, some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? It's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. Taint. <laughs> That's not a good word with him. <laughs> However... However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Making foreign references. Check. I am a soldier, no serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. Oh, okay. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Neiki, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm-hmm. But my work is filled with deep meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. 
I don't think I want to comprehend it. No! Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, okay, now to talk to... So, they've just, they've just teleported in front of the door. Just so I can talk to them as the protagonist. Uh, okay. Anything change? Can I click on those locks? No. Uh, Oi Asahina. I'm gonna I'm hey gonna up. butcher the pronunciation of the name. Asahina, but Ai my friends Asahina. just call me Hina. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna call you Hina. Um, a seedling. Oh man, they all look dead inside. Oi Asahina, she's been breaking records in every competition since she's in she's been in, in since elementary school. Uh, maybe it's standing behind you in the queue for that time in the limelight. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what it is. I, I'm so lucky there is. Uh, she's been chosen as upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the super duper swimming pro. Uh, combination of ability, appearance, and um, proportions <laughs> have been widely discussed online. Mm. Here are the boobies to poke, clearly. Uh, so, uh, so uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Naegi. <laughs> Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It, it is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger. Oh right, uh, Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Uh, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Savage. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Uh, you spell it exactly like it sounds. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, I have no idea. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. She's forgotten our name already. <laughs> well, one thing I learned is that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy, he says with a savage cut sneer to his voice. Um, she seems nice. A bit forgetful. Uh, Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Hello. Fujisaki. Hashtag must protect. Ultimate programmer. Okay, so she's the hacker. Cool. Mm. Probably gonna be useful considering all the tech around here. Sorry, I kind I get kind of embarrassed when I whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I, I hope we can get along. Sure. Same here. Um, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the clots. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, no, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't have to apologize for that. See, Nayagi is saying almost exactly the same thing that I would say in this situation so far, so that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate hacker, the super-duper hacker! Um, she's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Ah, I see. Um... Hey, so, uh, listen- she's already crying, flippin' act. If you hurt this cinnamon roll, I will kill you. Um... Oh no. Well, I'll try not to. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, just because, um, you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Uh, how can I be mad at you? <laughs> um, uh, no, not at all. I, I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Like, chill. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I, I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, either emotional manipulation or genuinely timid. Can't tell. <laughs> I'm glad. 
Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, right, Neegi. Dot, 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 indeed. I'm starting to understand why her... Oh, my God. <laughs> I think, uh, Blue Shimmer, I think Neegi's on your side. Uh, Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay, so she's all purpose and purple and she's wearing fingerless gloves. Hmm. Either the clairvoyant or my protagonist's senses are tingling. Can't tell which. Dot dot dot. Ah, she's a she's a fan of the dot dot dot. I, I like her already. Ellipsis is abound in this game. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Um, can I ask you your name? Dot dot dot. Her name is Her name is Ellipsis. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. I'm not gonna be able to do that voice justice. My name is Kyoku Kirigiri. Ultimate triple question mark. Definitely protagonist or villain. Maybe both. Dot dot dot. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. <gasps> She's a Mary Sue! Oh no! Uh, I did see that there were students like me. Oh, maybe she's one of the ordinary students, inverted commas. Ones who didn't have any kind of real identity or presence. Ooh, he's savage to himself. Could this girl be one of them? I don't know, could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I, I just meant getting invited means you're some kind of super duper something, right? So what kind of super duper something are you? Dot, dot, dot. She is purple. She is super duper purple. <laughs> super duper matter. purple girl. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me. No spoilers. <laughs> That's true, yeah. But dot 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 she oh no she's ordinary and she instantly doesn't like me therefore she must be the worst uh, except not <sighs> her face is like an iron mask wow wow uh, if she doesn't want to tell me anything no point in asking that's right Nagi. move on come on bro uh junko oh yunko enoshima Junko Enoshima. Oh, Junko. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that smile. It's, it's, it's wonderful how art can tell you something about a character. Like, if it was a genuine sort of curved smile, probably a happy person. Closed eyes with a slight point to the smile, probably an evil villain. <laughs> Ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. Of course, anybody. I like the eye patch as well. Uh, she's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the super duper fashionista. By the way, English Monokuma does have a pretty annoying voice. I've seen her on tons of mag magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality, he says out loud. What? Huh? Come on. Come on. Oh, are you talking about my fo cover photos and junk? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about your junk. Ah ha ha ha. Well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? <gasps> my heart! Yeah, you know. Edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't... They aren't real. No. No! What can we do? Oh, come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. Yeah, that's rude, dude. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. Oh my god, it's the best wife. Uh, I don't know. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Yes. Yes, they are. Single tear. Uh, be friends with her, I swear to team. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. 
Anyone else watching? Who should I be friends with so far? I I, I can't I can't decide who's gonna be my best friend in high school. Uh, Mondo Owada. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet you. See, I like this guy. This guy I get. Ultimate biker gang leader. Nice. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means he is the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang, the super duper biker gang leader. It's quite a title. Uh, dot dot dot. Um, dot dot dot. Nice to meet you too. Yo. Uh, hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea with some concrete boots. And the last four pop up. Those four over there are the only ones left, aside from myself. Wow. They are ripped. I am Sakura Ogami. Cool. <laughs> Ultimate martial artist. Rad. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. Nagi. Dude. Be chill. <laughs> Uh, the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Yeah, for good reason, man. And now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. Yeah, I get the feeling that, like, her gender is not super relevant to her life right now. Um, she's the super duper martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Thread almost said a lot, a bit about her. Some call her Ogre because some people are super rude. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. Wow. Wow. Any incoming Hope Speak students are reading this, let me warn you right now, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. I don't know. Like, if I wanna, I wanna like, um, stay uh, away from the biker gang leader so he doesn't kill me, like, having her on side seems like a good deal. I'm gonna be her friend. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you! Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without realizing it. Wow. Oh my. Then she started to poke and prod up my body. Oh my. Uh, um, what, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Wow. Okay, well, I guess she's being rude right back. Hmm. Humph, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Well, I mean, no? I'm not sure that's such a shame. Wow. Ah, Byakuya Togami. Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ah, he kind of looks like us. She is so ripped. Hella ripped. Get ripped, uh, guys. It's good. So... Um, ultimate affluent progeny. Oh, he's the uh, the rich kid. Um, the smart rich kid. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Da da da. That's the most half-assed introduction I introduction I've ever heard. Well, at least he introduced himself. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even amongst ultimate students, this one is special. Uh, by Akuya Togami. Uh, he's the heir apparent of this massive uh, financial conglomerate. Oh, okay. He's an ass. <laughs> I see. Good to know. Um, sorry, manage managing business operations and his own personal assets. His own personal assets are well vast. Hey. Uh, his title of super duper, super duper rich kid is completely accurate. He's the definition of super duper. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come yeah. on. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Wow, he is, he is an ass. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. So he's the Gilgamesh character. Yasuhiro Hagakure. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. 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 Hero for short. Take Hero, it nice. easy, yeah? I know I will. Yeah, bro. Take it easy. 
Oh, he's the clairvoyant. I thought he was going to be like the radio guy. Be friends with Togemai. He's otherwise known as the super duper heir. In the psychic world, the trend setting super duper psychic. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Yeah, you and me both. Can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Mm. Could it be? Uh, okay, I I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Uh, so what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy purr chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. Is he actually going to, like, secretly tell the future in this game? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime. Brewskis, really? Oh my god. And get real deep into Lemuria and a civilization. <laughs> I'm guessing that. <laughs> well, we're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Nagy, stop being such a square. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, though. And it's, well, it's a long story. Ah, he's a dumbass. Ah. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. And last but not least, Celeste. No last name. Clearly suspicious. Should definitely not be, like, trust or be friends with this person. Um, like, yeah, clearly I should, I should uh, distrust this character immensely. Um, no trust. Zero percent. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I was doing her voice completely wrong. Oh no! Uh, well, we uh... So, Ultimate Gambler. Oh, is she a Hagakurai, um, reference? Uh... Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, wow, rude. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of, of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. Oh, she's polite but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. Yeah, take a hint. Guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, so it's not a real name. Super duper gambler who's never lost a bet. Is she a good girl? Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is va wrapped in a veil of lies. <gasps> a veil of lies! Uh, they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. Wow, I guess that means Queen of Bluffers? Or that is super rude, I guess. Um, she totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Well, yeah, it's a poker tournament. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> Evil laugh. A smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Hmm, I don't know, like... I, I should probably be careful around her. Seems a bit rude to sort of judge her for winning a poker tournament, though. She's a good girl. <laughs> With that, all the introductions are done. That took a while. The ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. Uh, this is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. I agree. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about there being a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? I mean, seriously, just after each of us got to the main hall, we uh, lost consciousness. Oh, you play games with her. That's cool. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? That's just weird. Uh, that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Oh, we're Piece dumb. of shit! Piece of shit! <laughs> he does, sir. Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out! 
And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA, either. <clears throat> uh, wow, that's dated. And then there's the main hall, there. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it, like... Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off when we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Mmm, I don't know. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. You know, do some drugs. I see. Ah, oh, so you think they, they wanted us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh, well, well, if that's all it is, then it's nap time for me, I guess. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I can feel everyone's tensions evaporating. Wow, what? 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 <laughs> Bunch of dumbasses. But then, it began! <gasps> bing dong, bing dong. <laughs> I guess that's accurate. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Oh no, I kind of like his voice. I think it kind of suits him if he's horrible and evil. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. Are we, so are we sure we aren't psychic? It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students. I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! <laughs> Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. <sighs> Spooky music. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me... Hey! Hey! What, you're just gonna take off like that? Could it be... Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was all for real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was really totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the moon? Huh? Oh, wait for me. I, I want to go with you. <laughs> Well, that is it, then. I will see you all there. Anyway... Well, not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. My ice beam! That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um... This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean that we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what was going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push forward. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no, really nervous. We don't have much of a choice. We have to go. They all said to go to the gym, right? Hey, checkpoint! Okay. Uh, this went on a bit longer than I thought it was going to do, but it's the intro, so. Um, right, so, I'm going to save here, and that's that's where I'm going to leave it. We've um, uh, we've made up, we've made progress, we've met all of our super-duper high school buddies, um, and apparently there are guns, and we've been kidnapped, and uh, there is an evil uh, and irritating-sounding uh, bear? Bear. Uh, that is controlling everything. Um, and we've been told to head to gym, my least favorite place in high school. Um, but for now, um, I, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, almost out of the tutorial. Yeah, almost. Almost. <laughs> we will finish the tutorial next week, probably by having someone murdered or something. <laughs> and by next week, I mean Friday. I think I, I think I might do some more streams of this. I quite enjoyed this. Um, uh, I hope, hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. Um, so uh, yeah, Friday. I'll do some more of this on Friday. 
For now, though, um, I'm going to take a quick break and move on to my next stream. Um, but thanks, thanks for listening, and uh, see you again. Bye.